All right, good day. This is the African Crypto Warlord. Today we're going to be looking at Dixie, the dollar index um, versus Bitcoin. Okay, this is Dixie. Dixie's last mean reversion flash when volatility was at zero was 14th of September or the 13th of September. 13th of September to the 12th of September, what year? 2021. Okay, so that's like 413 days ago. Now, we have hit the limits of that cone on Dixie and we haven't had any of these flashes. So what we're going to look for in Dixie is we're going to look for a contraction phase in Dixie, either positive or negative correlation. We need this higher term volatility period to drop down AVR uh, of a volatility radar. I need this to go back down to zero and I need to monitor that contraction phase. If it is going down, and it is negatively correlated then there's going to be positive drift right which means that when this thing gets to zero there's going to be a new cone mean higher than 92 dollars whatever it is yeah 92.63 which makes it which allows for a print in a cone somewhere here or to be up here or wherever it falls to or wherever it pumps to there's going to be a new flash which means that this is a bottom of a market from complete previous data, but what they will do then is fight over the new the new mean. So they're looking to set a new mean so that Dixie doesn't drop down down to ninety two dollars. And how they do that is once this thing hits zero and all these guys flash green in a row. Okay. So now what what, what what's happening here with uh, with Dixie? Yes, we can see that Dixie is falling or it's looking very choppy. But what caught my eye is if I drop in on the fifteen minutes right here's a 24 hour cone for bitcoin just to give you a comparison it's only a couple days old really printed all right so just off of that shit, i can see if we close below twenty thousand dollars 420 just say if we close 2420 then you're going to look for mean reversion down to 19 um mm, i'll be, be kind 19125 so you know 19125 has been in the book quite a while and was tagged here Okay, so here's the catch 22. We're going to put our PB cone on our 15 minute and we're going to go looking for our monthly mean prints. Okay, so this is Dixie. Let me drag Dixie over on the 15 minute. Let me make a big screen. Now we're going to go look for our new monthly mean prints. All right, so this is Dixie. Dixie's new monthly mean is at 11.687. This is its weekly mean. This is its daily mean. So this is the one that I opened up today at, or opened up here, came, retrieved daily mean, fell through, hit weekly mean. Maybe it wants to come up and push back into daily mean. Obviously it has to close above here. But there's a lot of cushion, right, to help this thing mean revert back up to the monthly mean. Thing is, this is the only halfway point. So if they wanna, if you wanna short, if you wanna like short sometime in the month, um, there's a Dixie play that's sitting here like a magnet, 11.68.6. I don't know how options work. I don't know how you would balance that shit, but maybe that's a target that that you you, you would want to keep an eye out on, on on options. See if there's a lot of volume or some shit that keeps on going there. Vice versa, the range could also be then 11.10. If you break outside 11.10, maybe you can rush to the downside. But I truly don't believe we ain't gonna break out of 11.10 until we fail this over here 11.683. So here's the catch 22. Bitcoins is the other side. So Dixie's, right? So I was thinking, oh shit, yeah, Bitcoin not doing so bad. Sort of holding a structure above 19K, blah, blah, blah. This, the problem is you have your weekly mean for Bitcoin down here. We obviously tested that now on, 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 on Monday, but we didn't have the new monthly mean print. Our monthly mean print was all the way down here for last month at so $20,000, uh, $20, $115. Fuck that, I keep on saying that wrong. But our new monthly, it's all the way down here, all right? That's 19,920, and that's the midway point. So the first level for that is just above our previous monthly. So this is monthly level plus one. Level plus one is a 2203, all right? Oh, we've got to do it the other way, sorry. 2203, uh, this is our weekly, that guy's always in play. That's 1.42%. Our top side will be 1.826%. And our bottom side 
the midways literally from here uh, negative 3.21 percent all right so now it's still in the bands it's still in the play we haven't had a new 15 minute flash right we failed up here we came in we failed the mean where we're we gonna go next or, or, or have we got a negative skew in the book what are the options trades saying guys i don't know you guys pretty good that shit i mean i just trade spot so that's what i'm looking for is a monthly pullback why because it's gonna as everyone says as dixie pumps we can see here as dixie pumps btc go down right now i can set up my other indicators to just tell me exactly if they're correlated and stuff like that but i've just been quite lazy right now but i should have done it but just for this example so this is what we're pulling off the 15 minute just off of the first 12 the first eight hours of the day for me telling me what's happening for the rest of the month these tools are very powerful you have your levels in you can have your trades here you can have your, your daily mean we can touch our daily mean so i would say match that up with a dixie dixie's daily mean is here so there's a there's a little bit of a, a counter reversion play from now 0 0.42 from here how much percent difference is it mean to mean 0 0.42 so there's some plays that are happening here you fail close below here you're going to come touch your daily mean you hold above here you want to continue at least into 20 689 so i hope this is helpful for just a monthly perspective let's go throw up our six hour distribution cone so we can see where we are thing is here what we're going to look for is we're going to look for any bull divs that have formed let's go look any bull divs no bull div yet so you have your normal clean mean reversion play catch 22 coming in in two hours you'll have this mean reversion play be true if you hold above this mean to 20,572 you close above there you can maybe look for a continuation to 2699 not looking so healthy considering right now we've had that scalp down we had a blue flash over here down on the bottom perfectly returns are starting to go flat so the contraction phase and volatility which is what i like to look for in shorts is this gonna go column and line gonna go green then this is gonna go stay positive and then that shit will really start to kick in if you if you keep it below where the next orange line prints that'll come up be the top then you can scalp into whatever it is down here 20 grand on the money 20 grand on the money to the downside of if you start closing above 20 here 20 we'll do it for the new print the same place that we're denied we'll take the short so around about twenty thousand six hundred and seventy dollars to six twenty thousand six hundred and eighty dollars is going to be the new line if you close above that new line then with this candle coming through you can have some mean reversion but only if you close above that line will DLP will allow the initial trade to even have the target of looking for 22166 from here, right? And that's just on the six hour. Obviously, it's going to take a lot of time. DLP has had a lot of green, hasn't had some red for some time. So this is it trying to see if it wants to go red, right? Uh, limits to this shit, you'll maybe get your first trigger over here at 20 grand, $24. Um, I hope that was helpful. And yeah, as we can see, Dixie go up for a current moment. And BTC is now correlated with it. So, be wary. We've got to wait for this to fall over. Or is BTC just taking its last legs? Oh, we don't have this one. There we go. So, let's go look at our 15 minute. Just for, here you go. That's cool. Uh, mean version play. Super Scalper came through. You sort of want to keep it just below, not too far away from the mean or just on the mean. Then you'll get this and DLP through through. See if we've got some expansion. Oh, come on, baby. Why you do this to me? Contraction is still for getting fought over. Contraction, positive drift. That's going to keep it down. That denies that. Okay, so this bad diff that you've seen playing here is going to get confirmed if you close below this mean. It's going to take about two or three candles, but I really like this kind of play. So two or three candles below this mean will definitely have that bad diff kick in, come in for, for, for the daily, right? We can get through here you're gonna look for 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 for, for a short okay so we, we can monitor this if we want dlp going here i uh, shouldn't be making prediction like this on the time frame like that i should be doing it on one minute oh yeah 21 day i'll quickly get back to that sorry shit. the mean reversion down expansion to downside that's chilled so that should back be back in this in due time um every time the time frame matches up you have some some continuation as they say there's a few things here but keep it below the mean it will maybe take an extra two candles because the bad div is just hit but keep it below the mean and you can look for continuation down into your daily mean um negate this sucker keep him above the mean 
over here um, and then you will have expansion and volatility positively correlated on your side currently we have negative drift it's just melting it down so there's your daily target we have a, a weekly target down here um, and a monthly target even further down down here so there's three magnets to the downside pick one um, I hope this was helpful <laughs> ciao bella